of correspondences, western and eastern views. In the Occident, the divine Her Mistress Magister spelt out the law of correspondences saying, that which is on high is that which is on below, that which is on below is that which is on high, in order that the miracle of unity may be perpetual. Welcome to eastrovedika.com. I am G. Kumar. In the Orient, Aurobindo averred, the mystery of the lotus cannot be deciphered by analyzing the mud below, but by analyzing the heavenly archetype of the lotus that blooms forever in the heavens above. In this video, we will talk about the role of Jupiter in horoscopy. The biggest planet in the solar system, Jupiter, is considered to be one of the most important planets. 1300 Earths can be fit into Jupiter. He is the indicator of divine grace and if he be benign, the entire horoscope is considered benign. On the other hand, if he be weak, the horoscope loses its intrinsic strength. Jupiterian effects in the 12 houses. Well, Jupiter in the ascendant. Jove in the ascendant makes one scholarly, beautiful, jovial. Jovian influence on the first house endows one with majestic pers personality, magnetic appearance, learning and wisdom. High longevity is conferred by Jovian presence in the first. Scholarship will grace the native in no uncertain measure, will be respected by the multitude, will be handsome and will have a high discriminative intellect. Jupiter in the second house. In the second, Jove bestows poetic faculties, handsomeness, wealth and fame will have the gift of the gab or the divine gift of articulate speech, will speak beautifully, will have scholarship and learning. The wisdom planet in the house of speech makes one scholarly. Jupiter in the third house. In the third, Jupiter makes one miserly and not an altruist, will have to face many a defeat. Jupiter in the fourth house. Jovian tenancy of the fourth makes one hedonistic with a lot of friends and relatives, will be fortunate with respect to house. Well, Jupiter in the fifth house. High intelligence is conferred by the person of Jupiter in the fifth. Wealth will grace you in no uncertain measure, may be worried due to children. Jupiter in the sixth house. Jove in the sixth house is the destroyer of enemies, will be lazy and physically weak, may resort to occult rites. Jupiter in the seventh house will be equivalent to a king as the royal planet of wisdom becomes posited in a quadrant will destroy a lack of afflictions, will have high communication ability, scholarly, a lover of poetry, handsome, will be more liberal than the father, famous with good life partner and children. These are the effects of a benign, benign Jove in the seventh. Jupiter in the eighth house. This adverse position of Jupiter makes one dependent on others, will do sinful acts, will have high longevity, will be well liked by all, will do jobs on behalf of others, will be highly determined and will be interested in base women. Jupiter in the ninth house. Jovian tendency of the ninth makes one highly spiritual, will have devotion to preceptors, will be scholarly and well informed, will be of ministerial cadre, will be famous and will be highly moral and ethical. Jupiter in the tenth house. This benign pos position of Jupiter makes one well off in life will be equivalent to a lot, will be famous with comforts, vehicles and children, will be virtuous, scholarly and fortunate. Jupiter in the 11th house. Jupiter well posited in the 11th makes one highly determined, scholarly, with good longevity, with multiple streams of income, famous and with a lot of conveyances. Jupiter in the 12th house. In the adverse 12th, Jupiter makes one devoid of happiness, sons and fortune. Earlier wealth gets destroyed, will be lacking in funds most of the time, will be lazy and will lack proper education, will be ridiculed by many, will have dubious character. But Jupiter in the twelfth house can take one to heaven. Dwadashastu Yadi Guru Devalokam Samasnuti. Please subscribe to our videos at http www.youtube.com backslash zodiac astro one.